Hi, my name is Dr. Amy Mears and I'm a lecturer at the Sports Technology Institute at Loughborough University. At the Sports Technology Institute, we're interested in designing and engineering sports equipment that can either improve performance, reduce the risk of injuries, or increase levels of comfort for those exercising or taking part in sport. One of my main roles as a lecturer is teaching on our undergraduate sports technology degree programme. On the sports technology degree, students learn about lots of different aspects of sports technology, from how to design and manufacture their own sports products, through to how do they test sports equipment, clothing or footwear, using sophisticated measuring technologies. And this could be for many different reasons, such as measuring the mechanical properties of artificial turf, measuring how well helmets protect a person from injury, or how much a running shoe bends. These skills are useful for students who want to one day work in the sports equipment industry. The other part of my role as a lecturer is carrying out research into the design and engineering of sports equipment. I wonder how many of you have thought about what are all the things that we need to know before we can start designing and engineering sports equipment, such as running shoes. Why do people choose different pieces of sports equipment, such as running shoes, and why are they all designed in different ways? So to try and answer this question, we use biomechanics to help us to understand how someone moves and the forces that they create when they're using different pieces of sports equipment. To measure how someone moves, we use technology such as motion analysis, where we place reflective markers on a person's body and the sports equipment. Then, using infrared cameras, they track the motion of those markers. Maths is an important skill for biomechanics, as we need to apply equations to help us create models and allow us to compute things about that performance movement. We also use this type of data to program our robots, such as this golf robot, and this then allows us to test sports equipment in a really repeatable manner. For me, when I was at school, I really enjoyed maths and science, and I've always loved playing sport. Therefore, being able to work in sports technology and carry out research into sports equipment is a really great opportunity to, sh to combine both my passions. What I'd like you to do is next time you're watching sport or someone exercising, think about and take a look at the equipment they're using and think about how differently they move and consider the research that we've been carrying out at the Sports Technology Institute. I hope you enjoy the rest of the week. Thanks for listening.